Hi, if you're new around here, my name is Jack. In this channel, I talk about personal finance, adulting, and self-improvement. And today, in this video, let's chat about investing, and specifically, for beginners. To give you a background about myself with regards to investing, yung interest ko in investing started way back in 2015, college pa ako noon. So it's almost 5 years ago. And the reason why I have extra money to invest nung panahon yun is because I was selling t-shirts in college. And since college pa ako noon, nag-aaral pa ako, I was still receiving money from my parents. So yung allowance money ko yun. So inisip ko noon, may kinikita ako sa t-shirt business namin, saan kaya magandang ilagay tong extra money ko. So I end up putting it under security bank that was a UITF equity fund. I was holding that investment for two years and I redeemed it at a loss and that was my very first painful lesson with regards to investing. I lost almost 3,000 worth of my capital but that's fine. Fast forward several years so I worked for the insurance industry for three and a half years and dahil doon I was able to gain knowledge and experience with regards to personal finance and investing and that's the reason why I'd like to share to you mga natutunan ko doon. So parang itong video na to is to give you an idea where to invest your money pag nagkaroon na kayo ng extra money. Finally, before we proceed dun sa mga investment options natin, ano ba muna yung ibig sabihin ng investment? So in a layman's term, ang ibig sabihin lang naman ng investment is uh, you'll use yung capital mo or your money and ipapasok mo siya sa financial instrument and over time, it will grow yung value niya. Okay, let's begin with mutual funds and UITF. The reason why I package this two is kasi pareha sila in nature. Pareha silang pooled funds. So, ano yung ibig sabihin ng pooled funds? Ang ibig sabihin ng pooled funds is pinagsasama-sama yung pera ng mga tao or investors and then pipili sila ng fund nila kung saan nila i-invest yung pera nila. It could be under equity fund, bond fund, or balance fund. So, ano ba itong mga fund na to? So, pagka-equity fund, ibig sabihin yung pera mo is nasa stock market. That's the layman's term na gagamitin natin. Uh, this is for aggressive investors and usually yung time horizon mo, pag nag invest ka under equity fund is for 5 to 10 years. Then, bond fund. This one is for conservative investors. So, bakit? Kasi yung perang uh, ini-invest mo, ginagamit to pang pautang sa gobyerno, pang pautang sa mga private companies, which will highly they will pay. So, this one is a low risk, low reward type of investment. Next naman is balance fund. So, this one is for moderately aggressive investors. So, ano ba to? So, ito naman, mix lang to ng equity fund and bond fund. So, yun lang talaga yung ano, balance fund. Pinaghalo equity and bond. Pero hindi siya 50-50. Most likely, mga 60-40, 70-30, 65-35. -30, Basta mas malaki yung portion na napupunta sa equity more than the bond. One characteristic that UITF and mutual fund allows you to have is yung diversification. So, ano yung sabihin ng diversification? So, yung diversification when it comes to investing is you're spreading yung risk mo. So, ang magandang example nito is uh, pag bumili ka na yung isang stock, pag yun bumagsak, luging lugi ka. But pagka naka-diversify ka, meaning kasi kunwari, example, you bought an equity fund. So yung isang equity fund mo, yung equity fund mo, madaming laman yun sa loob. So kung yung isa doon pababa, yung iba pataas, so parang nababalance niya yung risk mo. Hi, I'm currently editing it and nakalimutan ko include kanina while we're shooting this video na both these investments are managed by a fund manager. So yun, just want to add it. That's it. Back to the video. So what's the difference between a UATF and a mutual fund? So yung key difference lang nila is yung regulating body and yung mga nagbibentang companies nito. So for UATF, ang regulating body mo is yung BSP and yung nagbibenta niya is mga banks. And for mutual fund naman, ang regulating body mo is yung SEC and then mga asset management companies naman yung nagbibenta ng mga products na mutual funds. Now let's talk about the stock market or in stocks. Basically, yung ibig sabihin lang naman nito is you're buying a portion or a share of a company. Siguro yung common parang uh, misinterpretation about the stock market is ay pang mayaman lang yan or pang matatalino lang yan. But in reality, it's for everyone who wants to participate in and yung interesado talaga matuto ng pag-trade ng stock market or pag-invest sa stock market. Don't get stuck with the idea na kung ano lang pinag-aralan mo, doon ka lang. I highly encourage everyone to try other things, to explore new ideas, and disciplines. Now, going back to the question, uh, how does the stock market work and how could you participate in it? So, how does a stock market work? So, simply lang naman, a company should be listed under a stock exchange para ma-investan siya ng public. Kinagawa nila yung kasi gusto nilang matap 
yung capital ng public for capital expansion para ma-expand nila yung business nila. So, what's in it for us para sa ating public investors? So, gusto natin mag-participate sa stock market kasi we want to participate sa growth ng company. Kasi usually, usually, when a company is growing, so is their stock prices. So, another question that comes into my mind is how you participate in the stock market. So, basically, kailangan mo lang mag-open na account under a stock brokerage firm and how do you make money in the stock market. There are two ways to make money in the stock market. First is yung capital appreciation. So, pag bumili ka ng stock, tumaas yung price niya, pwede mong ibenta. So, that's capital appreciation. Tumaas yung value ng binili mong stock. Then, yung other money-making option mo doon is yung dividends. So, yung dividends naman, if yung binili mong stock company is nagkaroon sila ng extra profit or income and yung extra yun uh, ishishare sa mga shareholders so magkakaroon ka ng dividend pagka may oh, sobrang kita yung uh, company na pinag-investan mo I already made a video about how to open a uh, stock brokerage account if you're interested to that uh, I'll link in the description box down below or sa show notes sa right corner ng screen if you're interested to learn more about the stock market please let me know in the comment section down below because this is just a basic parang to give you just a general idea how the stock market works so if you're interested to that please let me know in the comment section down below now let's talk about bonds or the bond market or investing in the bond market. So as I said a while ago kanina, uh, when it comes to bonds, yung pera mo is invested para pautangan yung government or any private institution. So magpapramis lang sila na babayaran nila yung pinautang mo at a certain uh, interest rate in a certain amount of time. So para ka nagpautang sa gobyerno or sa isang malaking private institution. So who are this usually recommended for? Usually yung bonds are recommended for aged people or older people kasi uh, they don't tolerate high risk anymore and mas maganda para sa kanila conservative type of investments na. Now, with this investment, it doesn't give you high returns. But in return, it will give you more peace of mind na yung money mo is more safe. Last that I'd like to add in this video is yung Pag-ibig MP2. So this one is a savings program by the government but yung difference nito, this is a high dividend earning fund ng government. One good question to ask pagka nag invest ka is saan napupunta yung pera mo pagka nag invest ka ng pera sa isang uh, investment. So pagdating sa Pag-ibig MP2, the based on sa site nila, yung naka-disclose is uh, yung pera mong ini-invest is used by Pag-ibig para sa housing financing loans nila. So yun, parang pinapautang nila yung pera mo in return may tubo yun. So doon kikita yung perang pinautang mo. And small portion naman nun is sa government securities and corporate bonds. Again, this is a very low risk type of investment. Uh, one thing lang to keep in mind is this is a dividend savings program. So nakadepende yung uh, interest rate neto dun sa performance nung fund. So, if hindi nag-perform well yung fund, hindi rin ganun kataas yung interest rate niya. But based on past data, based sa realistic data from 2010 up to 2020, yung average niya is around 7%-ish. Again, this will not guarantee yung interest rate sa future, but it is a good reference on how will uh, the fund perform. As I was doing my research for this video, I came across this blog. So, let me just plug yung blog niya. It's katiescarletneedsmoney.com So, uh, I uh, came across her blog and sobrang ganda ng isang article niya. It's about MP2 hacks on how you could utilize yung full potential ng MP2 savings program ng pag-ibig. So, I highly suggest give it a read pagka sobrang interested ka to MP2 program ng pag-ibig. I'll put her link in the description box down below. Uh, one thing na gusto ko sa mga articles niya, maliban sa sobrang ganda, is it's very unbiased. Because one thing na mapapansin mo when it comes to personal finance, Finance content. There's usually some hidden agendas behind every content. So yun, it's one thing na gusto ko sa content niya is it's really for the people pang masa talaga walang hinihin kapalit. I mean, kasi yun yung usually may kita mo sa mga uh, personal finance content. There's something in return which is meh, di ko trip. Lastly, before jumping to investing, I'd like to remind muna everyone about steps to financial freedom. So, before investing, tinan mo muna if you have a good cash flow, mas malaki ba yung kinikita mo kaysa sa ginagasas mo, uh, you have your debts pay off, so nabayaran mo na ba lahat ng utang mo, you have your emergency fund na nakaset up na, so 3 to 6 months nung uh, expenses mo na ipon mo na, and have uh, insurance protection, so life and health insurances, before you go jump into investing. One mistake that I made when it comes to investing is I invested without a steady stream of income so yung income ko kasi fluctuates highly from month to month so pag paiba siya ng paiba so don't 
do it. So that's one thing that I'm currently figuring it out ngayon. So I highly encourage everyone to invest in a more sustainable way. Alright, that's it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you appreciate this video. A subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And if you have a suggestions, comments, idea, please share it in the comment section down below. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.